Coach, obviously not the, the final result you wanted in this one, but just talk about your, uh, your overall thoughts on the team's performance today. You know, I, I never you know, question our kids' effort. Um, I thought they played very hard. Uh, we had a great week of practice. And I always talk about earning the right to take the field with confidence because of your practice habits, which invariably become game realities. So I thought we had, like I said, I thought we practiced well. I thought the kids played hard. Um, and has been the case, unfortunately, I think now 11 or 12 times in the past three years. Uh, one score loss with a chance to win the fourth quarter. And you know, couldn't, get it, couldn't get it done. You know, score, uh, kicked the field goal to tie it. You know, uh, lost momentum. Uh, they scored and then drove down and weren't able to convert on the fourth down. So, as always, thought the kids practiced well. I uh, thought they played their hearts out. Thought we competed. But I've got to make sure I do a better job putting them in position to be successful with the play calls, as do our other coordinators. And when we make the right calls, uh, we get to execute. Coach, obviously the last drive is what it kind of came down to. What, did, what do you kind of think that you guys could, could have done better just on that last drive specifically? Well, we could have scored a touchdown <laughs> and kicked, kicked the extra point or gone for two. That, that would have been ideal. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a, I thought, fairly good execution of a two-minute drive. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the ball hit us, hit the tight end in the head on that, on that basic route. So if we catch that, it's definitely a first down and maybe scores. And then, uh, you know, we had a power read uh, on the other one where Ben handed it off. And then, you know, uh, tried another double post wheel concept on the last play like we had hit Jordan Simmons on and, and I had seen during the week. Uh, that Penn State had hit a bunch of times, and they brought a pressure where it was one more blitzer than we could pick up. So, uh, you know, that, that, you know, good job by them. Um, in regards to that Bowling Green go-ahead touchdown, Harold Fan took the, the end around. Looked like there might have been a hold there. I don't know if you saw that or what happened on that play there. Um, they did a good job uh, getting the ball in the hands of their, of their best football player. So that was, it, was a, it was a good call. Uh, he got around the edge, broke a tackle. And I, I, I should, I didn't, I didn't have a good vantage point of it. I know that had been kind of the uh, scuttlebutt on the sideline amongst our, our coaches and players, but for me to comment on on whether it was or wasn't, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't see it, so I can't, I can't comment on. It. How nice was it, Coach, uh, for the defensive guys to get some sacks uh, in the in the books and get to the, see that they can get to their get to the quarterback. Uh, today. Yeah, uh, you know, I thought once again it's the same old, same old, you know, same old song. We 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 play in with spurts of uh, effectiveness, spurts of efficiency, spurts of explosiveness. You know, uh, it doing things we we got we got to do them on a more consistent basis. But it was great for us to be able to you know, generate a pass rush against a good O line, and you know that kid gets the ball out of his hand and. You know, Coach Leffler and the staff do a good job of uh, down up some quick game and, and mixing the things up. So to be able to generate a pass rush was was uh, definitely a positive for our defense. Coach, if you guys helped off the field with injuries in the fourth quarter, uh, McCoy, Bennett Adler, Anderson, what's the status of those guys at from, this point? From what I was told from the training staff, I know Anderson went back in. Uh, you know, Bennett was cramping, and uh, you know McCoy's fine as well. So they'll, they'll, they'll come in tomorrow for injury check, and I'll, I'll get I'll get a report tomorrow tomorrow afternoon at two thirty. We good? Co Co good. Was, yeah, good. Coach, um, Ben Finley held up pretty well against attacks from the opposite defense, yeah. if quickly evading. But even considering their team stats are probably pretty similar quarterback to quarterback, right. what's the key takeaway going into next week offensively? Well, I, I, I think the, cha the challenge we had offensively coming off of Ohio U is we needed to do a better job running the football. Uh, and a better job protecting the passer, uh, and I haven't seen I haven't seen the numbers yet, but I, I think they would probably indicate that we did. We ran it better. Uh, we didn't give up as many sacks, and you know, we were able to complete some balls and push push it down the field a little bit. So, still not uh, efficient enough, still not explosive enough, but uh, just in terms of, of running it a little bit better and you know finding a way to 
to protect and give Ben a chance to throw the ball down the field. And I thought his feet were more settled in the pocket as well. You didn't see him kind of backing out of there and escaping, uh, you know, where he shouldn't. So I thought, you know, you know, I think we had one possession in the third quarter, uh, and I believe we scored on all the others inside of the la outside of the last one uh, on the on the on the last drive of the game. So I thought we took took some strides running the ball and and uh, protecting the passer. I was going to say, Coach, um, what is it going to take to maybe get the, the offense maybe jump started earlier? It seems like you had 200 plus yards there in the fourth quarter. What, what is it going to maybe be to, to kind of kick start it uh, to get that kind of efficiency to maybe the first half? Yeah, I think it's two things. I think we, we got to make sure that we're, we're calling plays early on in the game that, that are both, uh, you know, Kind of an opening script that, that mixes up run and pass, you know, things that we can get out of our hand and complete quick and, and, and get some yards, but also take some shots. So, uh, you know, combination of, of uh, you know, play calling and, and execution, I would say. Uh, Chad. And then what, what's the, what was the, the take the result kind of, I guess, out, but what was the mood in the locker room once you guys, once you went in there? Uh, I, I mean, it, it some, I mean, it's it's, fr it's frustrating. It's frustrating because we've and we've uh, we've I say come a long way, but uh, you know we talk about you know we're competitive in every game, and you know we go into the fourth quarter and we have a chance to win it. And I told them I'm tired of talking about it that we got to find a way to win these one score games in the fourth quarter, and they're they're tired of hearing about it. But ultimately, to, to change the result, collectively, we've got to do something about it, which is different, which is whether it's offense, defense, or special teams, you know, find a way to play a uh, complementary brand of football in the fourth quarter, whether it's another stop, another touchdown, another big play on special teams that, that allows us to, uh, you know, close the game up. Speaking of special teams, your punter, once again, able to knock a couple balls inside the five. Just talk about him a little bit and what he's done to help you guys with the change of field position. No, he's uh, no, he's been a great weapon for us. And, and once again, I mentioned earlier in the week what a great job Coach Mavico's done in terms of evaluation. I mean, punter, field goal kicker, uh, you know, special team schemes. Um, you know, having a guy like Book and like uh, and Garrison, you know, where you feel confident that when you Take the field in, in a third of the game, which is special teams, that, that, that you're going to yield a positive result. You know, that's definitely been, you know, been a positive for us this year. Anything else, fellas? Good. 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 Appreciate you guys always covering us. Thank you. Thank you very much.